What's up everybody? Ottomans. So I asked on the Discord and the event for the Ottomans to inherit the Mad Looks is gone now in 3.0, so really I just think this uh, anti-Ottoman bias needs to stop. I must inherit not just Anatolia, but the entire world, you know? There has to be an event to inherit China, Mamluks. Now, really though, I feel like the uh, AI Ottoman, if they don't inherit Egypt, they don't really take off. They don't become as powerful. Of course, for the player, if they were to inherit Egypt, that would be pretty OP. So, I assume that's why they got rid of that. But I feel like the AI is pretty sh constrained if they don't get that. But, uh, I have a couple years until I can fight, uh, the Timurids. Before I can expand east. Yeah, a couple years, year and a half-ish, and then I just fought the Mamluks, so... I'm gonna turn my attention back to Europe. Because I... Pretty much everybody's cool with me, and then there's Hungary, who's just like, No, nah, this aggression won't stand, man. They're negative 50. Even Russia's kind of cooled off. They're negative 17. So I'm going to fight Croatia. If I attacked Hungary themselves, Poland wouldn't join because they like them too much. But I'll attack Croatia and do a Holy War CB and call in Poland. They're guaranteed by Austria, so I'll end up fighting Austria, Hungary, and Croatia. Which is funny because uh, Poland will join a Holy War against Croatia, and they'll end up fighting Hungary. It's like uh, the reverse 1683. This time, when we siege Vienna, we'll have the Polish Hussars on our side. We won't be able to uh, be defeated. I'm gonna do severe looting, because who cares about these uh, provinces over here? Let's move up here. Take out their forts. Zero percent. Getting cores on everything. The burgers are getting enough power for me to be able to get to eight, so I can invent commercialization. Get that going. <coughs> Yeah, the Metropolitans have taken over. That should be... It's a couple extra ducats. They're not going to hold the country for long, but... It's something. Yeah, England is currently winning against Castile and Aragon, so... They have some low countries and northern France over here, and they have all of this. And then they're winning against Castile and Aragon. It's a weird campaign. Yeah, the aristocrats take back over power. Hey, Jalerids clear war upon Timurids. Okay. Cool. Alright, this is a 4 level 2, so this is just a lot of troops on here. Let's take off these. Cav. I don't know where Austria's troops are. There's Hungary's. Alright, Metropolitans took over. I'm actually cool with the Metropolitans taking over. That should be a little bit more trade income, and then it, at the very least, gets rid of that uh, plus 0 0.05 monthly autonomy boost from the aristocrats. Replaces it with some legitimacy loss, which isn't that, really that much of a problem. I have 1,700 ducats. I'm currently building amenities in Constantinople. And there's 87,000, or close to 88,000 people living here. 
the cap for a Minis Rink 3 is 80,000, so that'll more than double the urban housing soft cap, so that'll be good. And then Cairo is the other one I can build in. Okay, looks like I can, actually, I can make that a core now, so I'll go ahead and core that. So I can start uh, building some stuff there. Timmer's accepted piece, all right. Grain provisions. Let's do that again. 71% status quo. This is 112% fort defense. Let's take that. Let's go directly to uh, Vienna. Looks like they moved their troops. Everybody's in Poland. That is fine with me. As long as Poland doesn't peace out before I can knock out these guys. Trying to take out some of these stacks up here with this. Just to make sure that Poland doesn't drop out too early. Influential burgers. I think that was the. this thing. It should still be getting power. 0.79 per year. When I'm able to, when my stability improves a little bit, I'll probably take farmland from the nobles. But right now my stability is dropping and I have a decent amount of rebels, so I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit. Our heir is a babbling buffoon. Yearly prestige diplomatic rep loss. They're gonna all pile in? Nope. Alright, which province is good? That is gray, grass flats. I was going to say grain flats. Combat width, negative 10%. Perfect. Where are you guys running to? Poland's not here to save you now. Poland's on my side. What unholy alliance is a, a Polish Ottoman alliance? Blech. Alright, Poland's pretty good. Actually, everybody's high. War enthusiasm. Bring these guys down. Take out some more forts. Hungarian forts.
Yeah, you want to be right there? With no morale? Locked? I think they had to uh, go there, actually. Is that a stack wave? See you later. Are there any troops randomly? Any troops land in Cairo? Yeah, definitely gonna loot them. Hey, we've taken Vienna. I believe that's Vienna. Really not gonna take any, uh... Hungarian territory, but I do want them to break their alliance with Russia. Let's actually just focus all on Hungary. build all those troops. Which is really annoying. Dalmatia. They're building back more troops than before. Though they're building back better. Come on, 49%? No? No, Mamluks. No, you do not do that. You do not give 200 ducats. Alright, swing these guys down south. What is this? That's Wooded Hills. That's good. Alright, stack wipe them. Alright, I think Hungary should peace out if I take Pest. They've lost a lot of troops. They might actually peace out now. Is Pest worth taking? It's 16 development. So there's probably not going to be a whole lot of loot. No, they stay... Okay, they won't. The problem is they always build troops. So once they build up those troops back that they lose, then... They don't want to peace out. They won't even accept just breaking that alliance.
How many men have Hungary lost? Jesus. 53,000 infantry. No, 53,000 men. Alright, you give me that. They have a lot of cores. Yeah, revoke all these cores. That's good, they can get rid of those cores. Istria? I don't care about that. They break their alliance with uh, Russia. And then they give me those, they get rid of those cores. Sure, 10 ducats. That gets rid of them. Wait, actually, I did want um, I did want this piece of territory. I forgot though. I'll take that later. No, why would you do that? Poland. Alright, if Poland actually wants to take this, then I'll move these troops into Austria. I guess they don't. Where are you guys trying to go? It's taking the Metropolitans a long time to take over, but they are eventually taking over. Alright, Amenities Rank 4 was built in Constantinople, so let's build... Uh, capital Rank 4 would be an additional 4% Global C reduction. Don't really need Amenities yet. Although, th that would probably take a long time to build. Amenities Rank 5, but... I think I have a little bit of time, so I'll hold off on that. Garrisons, I don't think that's really all that important. Pathing would reduce base travel time for CE from 10% to 5%, so I don't think that's a huge thing. Harborage would improve naval force limit and reduce embark cost for CE by 10%. Irrigation rank 4, additional 20% crop and fiber production. Uh, production. I'm gonna invest uh, ten percent or ten ducats into. Uh, well, I don't think I need to invest in those. Up here. Let's just do every province that is not beat red, or most provinces. The orange and yellow provinces, pretty much. And then uh, let's do 10 ducats commerce, or 10 ducats uh, academic, 10 ducats industry. And then irrigation rank four. Am I not actually selecting the province? What's going on? There we go. Alright, I'll get that going, and then... Looking at the red provinces... 
Red Province is maxed farmland. So these are the provinces that I want to build irrigation in. So... I think I'll get irrigation rank 3 in all these provinces, and then... Go from there. Alright, irrigation rank 3 in those three provinces. It's 1900 ducats. That's four levels. Alright, let's just do irrigation rank 3 in this province for now. So I imagine Austria would want a piece out, because I kind of just want to... I want to fight someone else. Let's see, the truce with these guys, I think after five years they can re-ally Russia, so I think I want to swing over and fight Russia. They're allied with Georgia. So I'm going to move these troops over here. And then I'll do a holy war against Russia, and then... That allows liberation of vassals and liberation of countries, so I, I think I'll have them release these guys. They might just re-fight them. I'll take whatever provinces I want, which are really these two, four, six-ish provinces here. And then I'll have them, with whatever's left over, start breaking stuff. Very golden horde uh, took out Circassia. All right, and then Poland will take those provinces. So that's good. You have a decent amount of rebels, actually. If I take stuff from the nobles, that would be negative one stability. So that's definitely why I want my stability to be in a better position before I take that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and Reduce my taxes a little bit. It's pretty high right now. And the burgers are at uh, 29. Apparently I can do this. That would make everybody mad though, so I need my stability to go up. Should be trending up. Can I do... 10% progress towards stability. Alright, I'll disown unpopular relative once I get to 90, and then I should be able to do that reform. Or no, that privilege, whatever it is. That should help with some of these rebels over here. Croatia is going to be wiped out, so they're not going to accept that. Yeah, they're not going to accept that until they're fully occupied. Hopefully that uh, country doesn't uh, throw a wrench into it. With their one troop, maybe Poland will go over to their territory over here. Would Poland join 
I don't think, yeah, Poland wouldn't join. War exhaustion, occupied and besieged provinces, Turkish diplomatic reputation. Might be able to spend five favors to prepare them for war and have them accept them. So I'd have to get out of this war. Let's go ahead and build a spy network. I don't think I really need Poland, so... I'll go ahead and just attack them when I can. It's a show superiority, so... Oh, okay. So that was taken. Alright, and they would accept. So... Yeah, I'll just have them give that stuff. That's good, that does a mission. Conquer Bosnia. We gain claims on Croatia, Dalmatia, and the Hungarian Plains region. Oh, wow, that's a lot of claims up here. Okay. I thought I needed that province for that, but apparently not. All right, would Poland join now? Yeah, okay, so I could promise them territory, which I'm not gonna do. So they might join. Yeah, 20 reasons to join. Yeah, so they'll join now. They're allied with Georgia, who doesn't look like they even have any troops, because they can't take back their province. Alright, we just march directly for uh, Moscow. Now, it is kind of a toss-up getting these guys in, because they might lose battles, so that might actually be bad. I'm going to tell my vassals to siege, though. Because there's a lot of territory here that has no forts. So they can take that stuff. While I take Moscow. They were fighting someone, so they must... Yeah, they must have all their troops over here. And there's one Georgian troop down there that can't even siege that province, that fort. I think the Jalarids are going to lose. The Timurids have uh, problems with rebels. Those provinces have been occupied for the entire... For like 50 years, really. Poland, why are you just allying everybody you just fought? Okay, my stability is 80, it's decaying, but I think, yeah, I can provide grain for commoners. So that gets me to one stability. That means I can go ahead and do this. Burgers will be happy.
I'm going to go ahead and uh, enforce special tolls. I don't think that really does much, but I'm going to lose favor unless I do it anyway. Lose one stability point. Stability increase interval of societal instability plus 30%. That hurts, but uh, we should now be inventing commerce. In Cairo and Constantinople. Because I think those are really the... Uh, two provinces that are going to be able to invent it. Yeah, there are no Jews in Constantinople anymore. All right. All right, I'm going to end this part here and uh, pick it up in the next part. So uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.